This is Project Sunset Furry. Moo! Welcome everybody to the Twilight Princess part number 8. I'm Cow's Crazy. Um, I'm crazy! Ah, look at me, I'm crazy! Uh. Actually, um, so... Yeah, in the last part we got the Tears of Light. Ooh, a whoopee. And, um... We've been told to go to the Forest Temple if we want a forbidden power. Um, she's now going to try to tell us all about our sword and our shield, which, yeah, blah 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 blah. You don't have to teach me about a sword and a shield. I know how to use it. Boom. See? Please. Who needs a shield in Zelda? Like, seriously, come on. Like, I use a shield in Dark Souls. I love Dark Souls, if you haven't mentioned. I really like Dark Souls. But anyways, that's not the point. The point is, I need a shield there. In this game, I don't really need a shield. Like, you know, I can just I can just power through the hits. Just power through. That's all you need. You don't need to block. Enemies do so little damage to you. Except for maybe in one certain part of this game, but that's beside the point. As you can see, it's locked, and while it was fun to dig up as a nice little wolfie, we cannot do that in our human form, so it forces you to go this way. Look at there's the guy. There's guy. Hey guy. Hey guy. Yeah. So he's uh, he's there. There's a stone over here. You can't get past. But look at this way looks clear. What happens if we go this way? Invisible wall. Hey, where do you think you're going? We still have an important errand at the temple deep in the woods. Midna just will not let you go that way. I really hate it when games do that. Like, put a rock there. Put something that. For some reason, I can't go that way. Don't just be like, oh, she says you can't, so you can't. I, I don't like that. I hate it when games do that. I think it's lazy. But anyways, talk with this guy. Huh? So? It's the Ordian. You seem familiar, but then your clones seem kind of different. So I got thrown off for a second. I is it odd for somebody to change their clothes? Like, really? Listen. Things have been a little rough around here lately, so you should watch your step, okay, guy? Yeah, guy. Yeah, guy. There are so many monsters now. I kind of got scared and closed off the path to the temple. Oh, you did it, huh? But you, guy, you, you want to get back there, huh? You sure do look geared up for it. So here you go. Not sure why they do this. Maybe it's the teacher about keys? I, I don't know. Oh yeah, the woods on the other side of this cave are covered in a really thick fog, so make sure your lantern is full. You're definitely going to need to use your lantern a lot in there, so bring all the oil you can. And check this out, I have a special one-time offer, bottle full of lantern oil for only a hundred rupees. How about it, guy? Don't fall for it. No, never mind. What? That's not right, guy. I give you the lantern for free, man. I also sell oil on its own, so come back when you run out, guy. Um, that's not actually, it says like a bottle full, but like, like, whoops, hold on. we already have a bottle, um, with my items, yeah. He's not going to give you a second bottle, at least I don't think so. No, he will not give you a second bottle, that's just, that's just ridiculous. Okay, guy, and, um, and guy, guy guy. There's a better place to buy buy oil up ahead. Also, even though I have very little oil, um, that's not going to really matter in a few moments. You shall see why. So, gate opened. And back into the dark, dark cave. It's just spooky in here. But, if you lit the path before, your path should still be lit now. Nobody's coming across and putting that shit out. Besides, it's not that dark in here. Especially if you're going through on the daytime. Like, I think it's a little... A little bit better. Look at that bat. The bats have this, like, hook on the bottom. It's very scary. Could, like, hook you up. Hooking you up. Ooh, funny. Um... Damn it, I fall for this every time. 
Because I'm playing both versions. It's this way. It's this way, right? It's this way? It's not this way, is it? It's the wrong way, isn't it? God damn it. Yep. See? Because I'm playing bo both versions. Because I gotta at least get up to the Tears of Light part on the other part, too. So, my mind is all thrown off. I'm really gonna be, like, just all over the place with my backwards thinkings. So here we go. You're in the forest again, and the fog, the evil poisonous fog is still there. Now they don't really tell you this. I don't know how you're supposed to know, but I guess they do encourage, encourage you to use the lantern as much as possible. So get your lantern out. But as soon as you do, a cutscene's gonna go off. And a monkey's gonna steal it. That stupid monkey has stole my lantern. Look at him go! Lantern's shaking that lantern all around. Hey! What's this monkey's problem? You idiot! While you were staring off into dreamland, your lantern got stolen. Yeah, my lantern did get stolen. But it's okay. Don't attack the poor monkey. Follow the poor monkey. The monkey is showing you that if you shake your lantern all around and do the hokey pokey and turn yourself around, maybe once or twice, that's what it's all about. And you'll be fine. There's also a chest up there? Don't remember how you go and get that, honestly. Because he's not... Yeah, I think you gotta come back for that. I think it's only rupees, though. I, I'm pretty sure it's not worth coming back for. Um, but once you get your lantern back and have full control over where you go, you can come back for that 20 bucks. But, it's only 20 bucks. Like, it's not the end of the world here. Oh! Oh no, a bat! Uh oh. Alright, monkey. Jumping up and down. Jumping up and down like a monkey. Okay, could we go a little faster, please? Like, you know, I'd like to get to the other side, you know, sometime today. I also feel like we're going the long way around. This is not the most direct route that you could possibly go here, monkey. Come on. Let's go, monkey. Monkey's getting all freaked out. Come on, monkey, it's only a bat. Why would a bat scare a monkey? Well, maybe. I don't know. You don't really see bats and monkeys in the same place at the same time a lot. What is that? Oh, that's one of those piranha plants. Stab it. Stabby. Boom. Just like that. Don't get uh, too far into the mist. Otherwise, you will be transported back to the beginning. Okay, now, could you give me my... We're at the end. Could you give me... Thank you. Give me give me my lantern back. <gasps> you broke it! You asshole! Oh, that's right, you better run! You better run or I'll spank your monkey ass! You got the lantern back! It ran out of oil. Yeah, no matter how much oil you had, or how little you had, it will always run out of oil. So that's why it's best to not buy any oil back there. Because it's just a waste. Um, do I... Is this lantern oil or is this milk? can't remember. I'm pretty sure that's milk, isn't it? That's not lantern oil in there. Um, but let's continue on here. If you remember, the bird has a shop on this side, and this is... <laughs> Look at those bobkins. <laughs> like, what do you want to have for dinner tonight? Oh no, you, you want to go to checkers and rallies? Yeah, they, they have a great deal. You can get four different burgers for three dollars. One of them's a Texas Smokehouse burger right now. Oh, and it's delicious. It was made on a garlic bread, and it was so good. I actually had that. It was pretty quite delicious, actually. I really enjoyed that smokehouse burger, but, you know, 
we had to go to the ghetto to get it. <laughs> like, literally. We're down, like, in Tampa. And, well, I don't know where the ghetto is in Tampa. I'm just like, where's the nearest checkers and rallies? Because we want this smokehouse burger. And then, you know, we follow the GPS and it uh, tells us where to go. And when we get there, we're like, I think this might be the ghetto. <laughs> in the ghetto. In the ghetto. So I came up with the great idea that Google, you know, Google Maps should have now with ghetto alert. You know, it should warn you when you're entering, you know, a bad part of town. You know, a part of town that you might not feel like you belong there. Might be a little unsafe. I don't know. Is that is that evil to say? I don't know. I don't know. But you should have some kind of a warning. Hey, this this is the not so nice neighborhood around here for you tourists. You know? I can tell you where it is here in Toronto. Don't go to Jane Finch. Don't go to Jane Finch. That's like the bad area. Some parts of Scarborough are pretty bad too. Some parts of Scarborough, they're not so good. But, uh, we had another bad area called Parkdale around here, but they fixed it up a little bit. They've, it's getting better. It's getting better. I'd still say Jane and Finch, though, is, uh, traditionally known as a more violent area of the city. Welcome. Hey, buy something. Anything. I do plan on buying something. Um, I plan on. Oh, hold on. I gotta reset my lantern? Well, that sucks. Oh, I can... Hmm. In this version, I can set a fourth item, I think. Oh, no. Okay. On the on the Wii U gamepad, there was, like, the Y button, the X button, and the R button, which you can set your items to. But it also shows a ZL button, which I clearly know is for my shield. But I don't know why that's on the gamepad. It's not up on the screen. You guys can't see that. So that just threw me off there a little bit. But I do want some oil. You got oil in your lantern. With this filled, you'll be safe all night. Um, so there we go. We got more oil. Well, no, we want to put that away now. Save my oil. You have to pay the bird. Um, I might... Hold on. Put money in the box? How much is the oil? 20 bucks, okay. So you do have to pay on the honor system here. Um, I might show off later in the game what happens if you don't. Um, but not right now. Thanks, hey, thanks so much. We've just paid on the honor system. Thank you, thank you, hey. Come back, come back again sometime. Maybe I will. Look what's ahead. It's glowing. It's looking right at me. Look at it. You try to ignore it. You can try to sneak your way up here. Oh, look at that. It's a good boy. It's a good it's a gl good glowing boy. You see he's a good boy. He's a good boy. Charge right at it. <gasps> it's got red eyes. It's probably evil. <gasps> oh my. It's jumping right at me. <laughs> he killed my captain, Phineas Wolf. Yes, the Phineas Wolf. <laughs> Fenris Wolf. <laughs> it's a Narnia reference. <gasps> now it's a skeleton. We must battle the skeleton. Here in this strange, weird land. <gasps> and we've been defeated. A sword wields no strength unless the hand that holds it has courage. You may be destined to become the hero of legend, but your current power would disgrace the proud green of the hero's tunic you wear. You must use your courage to seek power, and find it you must. Only then will you become the hero for whom this world despairs. If you find true courage, and you wish to save Hyrule from the horrors it now faces, then you'll be worthy to receive the secrets that I hold. 
Hinsgill, the ending blow. I love a good ending blow. <laughs> Enemies that are filled with energy will quickly recover and attack again, even when stunned by a powerful strike. The ending blow is a secret technique that you can use on a stunned enemies to take their breath before they spring back to action. When an enemy lies collapsed on the ground, stunned, Z, L, target, and press A to leap high into the air and deliver the final strike. When the opportunity to end their breath is before you, you will see, finish him! <laughs> it's a good old Mortal Kombat here. Yes, alright. Now, try it on me. Um, I, I don't know if I want to give a, a, a blow to a skeleton, but I guess we can always try. And, ending blow! Oh! Yes. Hmm. That was pinpoint strike. Never overlook your opportunity to finish with A. The first hidden skill. The ending blow has been passed on. Yes. I love a good ending blow. Mm -mm -mm. At the end of the day, that's all you want. That's why it's the ending blow, because uh, you get a nice blow at the end of the day. That's always good. You learn the first hidden skill, the ending blow! Oh! When you fell a foe, lock on with Zeno and deliver a final blow. Yes. There are still six hidden skills for you to learn. I don't. Those are only for one who carries the blood of the hero, the one whose spirit is that of Sublime Beast. Grow powerful, test your courage, and when you find that you need another skill to overcome the threats that face you, search for the statues that howl with the sound of wind. Seek the sound that calls to the spirit of the beast to awaken me again. So this is when you get for free, it's mandatory. A sword wields no strength. Okay, yeah, yeah, okay. I, I, I'll always remember, dude. Always. Farewell. Some people... Theorize that this skeleton here is actually the Oot Link. The Oot Link. I don't know about that, but it could be. It could be. I'm not going to close my mind to it. But yes, uh, so this first move is mandatory. There are other ones. I think some of them are needed to beat the game, but not all. I think some you can completely go without. But I will be getting them all at some point whenever I can. But now, welcome to the temple. Welcome to the temple. We got fun and games. We got everything you want. Alright, so here we are. Welcome to the spider's web. You would think a spider's web would just go down. But no. 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 Only the lantern may break the spider's web. Only the lantern. You know, I break spider's webs all the time with just my bare hands. Welcome to the first dungeon of the game. Man, it's so much fun to be in a Zelda dungeon again. It's just, I'm really, I'm really happy to be here. I really am. This is just so much great. I really like going into dungeons and. It's been a long time since I played this game, like a really long time, so it, it kind of feels fresh to me. So, um, and yes, even though I am playing the other version too, I am trying to make sure I play that version after I record a part. So, like, I'm trying to play, I'm trying to get my first initial reactions to the game here. Um, practice? No. I don't believe in practice. I want you to see me struggle and experience the game on my first take. That's 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 how I like to play here. Even if it's not blind, you know? Uh, I want you guys to see what I see, not what I know. Anyways. Looks like Monkey's in trouble again. That Monkey, man. Like, seriously. It's pretty weak if, like, some Boblicans can capture it. Not once, but now twice. Here we go, and monkey die. Monkey die! Monkey, monkey, I'm a monkey! Monkey, monkey, monkey! Monkey, monkey, monkey says, come on! Monkey says, monkey, monkey! Hey, 
That monkey that stole your lantern. Doesn't it look like she's beckoning you? Aren't you a popular one? Hee <laughs> hee. Are you sure it's a she? Well, I guess it is naked. You might be able to tell. But I wasn't looking. So, take out the spiders. And we can climb on up. Is there anything hidden in this room? First room? Sometimes there is. But I'm gonna say... Not right now. I'm, over, I'm thinking too deep and hard about this. It's the first dungeon, first room. I think I'm, I think I'm overthinking this. Anyways. Door, door, yes, open door. Monkey, 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 say yeah, monkey, 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 monkey. Okay, so we got torch, torch, monkey, and we clearly have a spider up there. Clearly have a spider up there. Can we hit that thing from here? Yes, we can. And it comes down. And it's just gonna look right at us. Come on. Stab. Stab, stab. And finish it! Finish him! Give me a heart. Alright, so up above there are chests. I don't think we can knock these down with our slingshot, but I'm gonna try anyways. I think you can break the pots, right? Yeah, the pots you can break, but the treasure chest is another story all all together. That's, there's five bucks. There's five bucks too. Give me ten dollars. Ten dollars. We've got two lanterns here. What do you do with unlit lanterns? You light them. Nothing happened. There might be more lanterns. And that's because there are. More lantern. More lantern. Four lanterns! Yeah! Ha! Ah, four lights! Okay. Monkey, I know you want me to keep going. But, like, this treasure chest is right there, dude. Okay? Okay, so there's a door over here. Broken. There's a door over here. Spider web also broken. Don't see how we're gonna get there right now. There is a wire. I know we can grab that somehow. Oh, I remember how to get this now. Oh yeah, okay. This dungeon is coming back to me. It's in it's in my mind. I'm so totally remembering this now. Very interesting here. Um, you kind of come outside. I think that's kind of cool. Like, the dungeon isn't all inside. It's kind of outside, too. The outside's inside. Ah, monkey, run away! And there's our answer to how you're going to get that treasure chest. Basically just... <laughs> <laughs> Slap that ass! Oh wow! Oh! Oh! What's going on? Has there been a monkey fight? <laughs> yeah, like, not really. If there was a real monkey fight, they'd be throwing feces at each other. But oh no! Now we can't go any farther. Might as well go back. I don't know what's going on. But it seems like she wants to take you somewhere. So maybe you should just follow her. Like, oh man. See, yeah, really. Oh, stop telling me things. Okay, yeah. <laughs> I, I could kind of figure out that I'm supposed to follow the monkey. You know, without you telling me, Minda. I could totally figure that out. Yet again, not as bad. As some guides just got a little too carried away. And then Breath of the Wild came along. Oh, huh, was this treasure chest here the whole time? It might have been. You got the dungeon map! Green rooms are ones you've already visited. The other area, arrow, shows you your current location. Tilt it to change floors. Alright. Alright, where are we going, monkey man? Or girl? Okay. Oh, wow. 
Look at this. We're gonna do the monkey jump. Do the monkey jump. And I guess we'll do the monkey jump and continue this dungeon in the next episode. Until then, everybody, I've been Cows Crazy. Please subscribe. Please leave a comment below. And of course, move!